Hello, today is the 11th of May, 2023. I'd like to share today some of my experiences with the corruption, the abuse, the mishandling, the mistreatment of utility companies toward me as a consumer, as a customer, and also towards the people around me, specifically the electric company. Electric companies are monopolies, as I've discussed before. They mainly, for the most part, not in all areas, but in most areas, are monopolies. They are the only show in town, the only company available for you to buy power from. You are many times required to have power. Whether you use it or not, you are a lot of times required to be connected as long as people are living in your home or the location where power is ran to required so you basically have very little if any choice sometimes you have no choice but to pay for your power even if you had a choice the choice is very non-existent you are very much forced to use electric energy because it is so essential in today's world Today's modern society, by and large, requires you to have electricity. You would not be able to participate, by and large, in today's modern economy and society without electricity. You need access to the internet for one that uses electricity. You need water heated here in most of the areas in the United States, with maybe very few exceptions in the deep, deep south, where areas remain warm and hot throughout the year. You need electric energy in many cases to light up your home, to run your air conditioning in very hot or cold days, and to cook, to ventilate your home, to have some sort of entertainment through TV and radio or streaming, you name it. Electricity is quite essential. All the commodities in the kitchen, in your living room, bedroom, and bathroom are by and large dependent on electricity. Most electronics and appliances are cheaper, more affordable when they are electric. Not necessarily more affordable to run, but more affordable to attain, initially invest in or acquire to buy. They are cheaper when you buy them to be ran on electric power as opposed to perhaps gas appliances, or even battery ran appliances or electronics. So you have very little, if any choice, but to have electricity. Electric companies know this. They take advantage of it wholeheartedly. They basically act, behave, and treat you as if you were their property, their slaves, their servants. They treat you like you are their pawns, their indentured servants like you are a pauper someone on the serving of respectful treatment they don't treat you with respect let alone will you expect them to treat you with some sort of compassion and some sort of care and benevolence no they're not going to behave this way because of the situation that they see themselves in when I say they, I mean the power company, their employees, the entire culture within the electric companies to include other utilities like water companies, etc. They behave like kings because they are in a position of extreme inequality when compared to you. They are in a position where they are well above you, well larger than you, and well with massive amounts of control over you. They have an extreme unbalanced power over you, over your finances, your livelihood, even your own safety. And they know this. They know this subconsciously, consciously, both from top executives inside of these utility companies to the lowest and lowliest call center employees. This is the case. I have experienced this myself. Many, many around me have also as well. There are countless stories of people with complaints with laments of their power company, abusing them, mistreating them, disrespecting them, being cruel and very draconian in their actions, in the steps they take, actions they take against you. They often resort to disconnecting you rather than working with you, giving you chances to pay, helping you. 
their first trigger reaction is just to disconnect your power because they know that you will capitulate, you will submit to their demands the minute that you begin to see how you are to live without power. I have been in that situation a couple of times in the past. I have been mistreated, abused, disrespected, and not have any care for from the power company. Going back many, many years, my experiences with the power company, even when I was a child, are quite bitter and sour in many cases. I grew up in a nation where blackouts were normal or something to be expected almost on a daily basis for many, many hours during the day, especially during peak use hours, usually during the night evenings. The power used to just disappear, go out, lights out. And this happened so often that everyone was more or less accustomed to it. I saw it something as normal as the night sky and I pretty much expected it. it didn't bother me much most of the time and I assumed the same was with many others. The problem was that there was massive amounts of corruption presumably going on in the city, in that city, that area that I used to live in. However, there was power running abound and almost without interruption to businesses, to wealthy areas, to well-to-do neighborhoods where the wealthy, the powerful members of the government, members of the military that lived in those areas for the most part, not always, but for the most part had plenty of power while other areas languished in darkness and backwardness without any kind of electrical energy. This went on for, I want to say, decades in my country. I want to say ever since power was available, they had blackouts, brownouts. I want to say from the beginning, when power was actually available, perhaps in the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, all those decades, 60s, 70s, and well into the 80s and 90s, there were brownouts, blackouts, to my knowledge, and they were widespread, they commonly occurred. And a lot of it had to do with the explosion of the population, the demand, yes, but also the mismanagement, corruption that went on. The country is rich, very rich in resources, plenty of raw materials, plenty of bodies of water, rivers, and areas where dams were built. Several dams existed throughout those decades, built by foreign nations, by uh, associations or groups of nations coming together and offering and getting these contracts to build these huge dams, some of which I have visited. And they are mega projects. They are peppered throughout the nation, providing power. I mean, this goes back many, many decades. And river dams are, I believe, the main source of energy for the country. Of course, the country is not known for having fossil fuel resources, etc. So they depend a lot on imports, presumably from the nation that pretty much has controlled the island nation for, I want to say, more than 100 years now, the United States. The United States utterly controls and has controlled the economy of the Dominican Republic utterly and almost entirely throughout most of its history. Before that was the colonial powers of Spain, France, among perhaps other nations that may have dipped their toes in colonialism in that area. It was mainly Spain and France, and more recently, within the last hundred years, the United States. So that's where I come from. That experience there with the power outages, which very much did not affect me in a negative way. By all means, it was a positive experience for me. I experienced things and times that I would not have experienced with the lights on, with the power on. These experiences, I believe, to be quite inspiring for me, quite 
encouraging, developing, maturing. I enjoyed many, many nights in the gloomy Dominican afternoons and evenings, playing with other kids, developing my creative skills, drawing, writing, constructing, building things, developing ideas, whether it's on paper or manually creating perhaps small cardboard prototypes of little what I wanted to call inventions. I dabbed into business, a little bit of music, a little bit of cartoon making, comic book making, book writing, newspaper writing and making. I dabbed into a lot of areas in sports and all kinds of artistic endeavors. I went to art school while I was growing up there and I had lots of friends, lots of experiences playing basketball, doing martial arts, doing swimming classes, etc. I thoroughly enjoyed and took advantage of the time there as far as my developmental needs. Many of them were met, many of them were utterly left unmet like many, many other children of the time. 